Is there anyone visiting us here? Anyone coming? Any tourists from out of town? Yes. Thank you. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Spend your money. Any of you from out of town, but please, can you walk a little fucking faster, please? Okay, I got places to go. Jeez. I, we want you to, oh my God, look at the lights. It's a building, you fucking hillbilly. Get out of the way, Jeez. What part of Middle Earth are you from that above ground living has you stymied, for God's sake? You should see people in Union Square where I, they got trains in the ground, Mark. This must be the Underground Railroad. You can come up now, Harriet, we won. Thank you. History majors got that joke. <laughs> but it is nice to be home. I was, I, was, uh, I was down in New Orleans. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but all the humidity on Earth is in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. I was walking to the theater with my wife, and she was like, I hate this humidity. My hair frizz is like, I am so sorry, baby. My balls are stuck to my leg. <laughs> I'm sorry you have that frizzy look. I have a skin graft in my pants right now. <laughs> and it's not just me. Every male in New Orleans initiates any movement like this. You ready? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, the air is wet, damn! <laughs> but it was nice, it's nice, nice to be back home. So I was flying in here, it's laid behind me sitting on the plane, coughing. Exactly. And she wasn't like, oh, excuse me. This was, I thought a bird flew into one of the jets. I put the little air thing on and it wasn't moving quick enough for me. So I'm, I'm like, get away from me, you pathogen fountain. Then I realized it's recycled air. I'm like, oh shit, it's coming back. And I travel with cough drops because my wife read an article that if your throat's moist, the germs can't get you. Yeah, it didn't sound right to me either. Yeah, but I've been married long enough to know like, yeah, I'm not dying on this hill. I'm not. What do you want me to do? You want to buy cough drops? Fine, I promise, I'll buy cough drops. So I buy the cough drops and I buy Ricola because for some reason I think the germs can hear the horn. I know they can't, it's foolish to believe such things, but every time I unwrap one, I hear Ricola. And I giggle. So I turn around and gave it to the lady and said, excuse me, you might need these. And she reaches in the bag with her germ paw. I'm like, ah, oh. No, no, take them all. She's like, really? Yes, and shove them all in your mouth, you carry a monkey. I didn't, I didn't say that. I said, it's a long flight, you might need these, you vector of disease. So she took them and now I'm hearing this. Like she's plunging a toilet. I'm like, do you have any oral awareness at all? None, I'm trying to fall asleep, the drinks come out, she's behind me chewing ice like <laughs> I'm dreaming about Nazis marching into France for some reason. I don't know where I got this germ thing, man, but I got it. I wear a condom when I Uber. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I know where you've been, but I know where you're not going. Just drive the car. I'm still amazed by Uber. You can push a button on your phone and a stoned person will come and pick you up. That, I had a guy pull up the other day, he's like, eh, get in, dude. <laughs> Are you high? He's like, eh, no. <laughs> I said, all right, move over, I'll drive. He's like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let him drive. <laughs> Put your belt on. Oh, you're nice. <laughs> Is the temperature okay? Yes, the temperature's fine. I have some water, would you like some water? No, no, thank May I have it? Because my mouth is really dry, man. <laughs> I said, yeah, get out of the water. Then I realized, I don't want this guy knowing where I live. So I pulled over three blocks before my house in front of this Krispy Kreme. And he was like, dude, you live here? I was like, yeah, it was an honor, Mr. Kreme. <laughs> I leaned back in and went, you go in there, pick anything you want. You tell him Krispy sent you. <laughs> 